51. Okay, so that's running absolutely fine. There's something funny about that kitchen tap. Either it's not got enough flow going through it to activate the boiler, or there's a cylinder somewhere because there's a zone valve there. Welcome to today's video everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's a bit of a gloomy day. We've been swimming. He's got his chips. He's having his lunch now. Uh, Jessica's asleep and I'm trying to get this intro done before I have to finish off everything else before the weekend ends and I'm back at work tomorrow. So this video, the first breakdown on this one is quite an interesting one because it was, it had actually had me sort of second guessing myself a Daddy, few times. Yeah. I don't want any more. You don't want any more? Okay, close the iPad then. And you can go and play with it. Wait, please. I don't have a screen. Sorry about this. Come on, close it. Close it. Okay, now you can go and play with your toys, okay? Thank you. So, where was I? Where was I? Yeah, um, this breakdown, it actually had me uh, questioning myself because it wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. And you go into a breakdown and once you've been to a few breakdowns, you kind of get the gist of what it could be. But sometimes a job like this just throws a curveball at you. And luckily, we did manage to get to the end of it. And it actually turned out to be a fairly straightforward thing. But it's always so easy to get ahead of yourself and try and overthink the situation. And that's something that I'm still guilty of doing. I think a lot of us are. We overthink the situation when sometimes it can be just something really simple. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this week's video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I don't know by the time this goes live if I'm going to hit 10K or not. I am currently sitting at, I'm recording this at 3 o'clock today. And currently I'm sitting at 9,989. So I'm 11 away from 10K. So whether I hit 10K in the next sort of couple of hours or if it's going to be after the video. So I don't know. But if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Get me to 10K before midnight tonight. That would be wicked. Really appreciate everyone's support and interaction on the channel. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the videos. And I will see you all on the next one. Have a good weekend. Well, hope you've had a great weekend and hope everyone's got a good week booked up ahead. Take care. All right, we've been called out to another Worcester ERP. Apparently a problem with the hot water. Let's run a hot tap and then see what's going on. Well, firstly, it doesn't seem to be a demand being recognized. Maybe it's that way. No. That's weird, it's not recognizing demand. That's getting warm though. Ish. What's going on here? No. Still on heating. It's a combi. There's a zombie up there, so I got a little bit confused, but it's definitely definitely a combi. Let me see if I can find another tap. It should be. That's getting warm. That's actually getting hot. I think I know what's going on here. I think it's a combi. We've got zone valve pointing down. There's no zone valve going up. I reckon there might be a cylinder here. 
I reckon it might be a cylinder. I'm going to see. Right, got hot water demand now, and that's coming from that tap. So now let's see what the boiler is doing. I'm going to fire it for hot water. I'm just going to see if that's overheating or not, just to see whether there's a blockage in the plate. Let's do hot water temperature set to 60. Pressure is dropping a bit, so let's top that up. It's not overheating. So I'm going to try and get that pressure up a bit, and then I'm going to check what the temperature of the water is coming out of the taps. Oh no. Mains pressure here is rubbish. Look how long that's taking to, to go up. Long. I don't, well, I don't think it's the plate because that's not shooting up. Let me get my thermometer. Six seventy-seven. It's not overheating. Where is the light switch here? Right, let's see what the temperature we've got coming from here. Fifty. Fifty-one. Okay, so that's running absolutely fine. There's something funny about that kitchen tap. Either it's not got enough flow going through it to activate the boiler, or there's a cylinder somewhere because there's a zone valve there. Okay, temperature there. So it's dropping a bit. Let's see what the boiler's doing once that's dropped. Boiler is still fired. It's not shut down. Okay, yeah, 52, 53, 54, 55. All right, that's still running. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, that's still running. Absolutely sweet. Very strange. And we're going to check all the taps in the property because then it might eliminate the fact that that's got poor flow rate or maybe that's been fed off a cylinder. Uh, I have no idea at the moment. Yeah, that's staying consistent. Then as soon as I, I open this tap here, well, I don't recognize anything. And do you know what? Let's, uh, let's try this. Let me turn off the cold feed underneath here and see if that turns the water off to that tap right it does so there's not a cylinder here then it is being fed straight off of here I just think that tap isn't activating the, the flow turbine in here we're going to check all the other taps make sure the other taps are okay and if it reckons, because look, it's now common for heating demand. So, don't think there's a cylinder here. Because I shut that off, and that turned that off. Okay, it might be that tap. But I'm going to go and check all the other taps to make sure the boiler recognises the demand from every other tap. 
And then if it does, then we know that tap is the problem. Okay, I've actually just taken the little de deaerator out of there. It's found a lot of muck in there. So now let's actually try and run the tap without the deaerator and see the boiler now, I reckon. There we go. Look at that. All it was, something simple, the aerator. And that is now going from here. She's ramping up. Lovely jubbly. All right, let's check the temperature. Rising. Give that a few. Give that a few minutes. It's getting hotter, definitely. That's not overheating either. So I had to the camera. Sorted your problem out. Yeah. Yeah. Blocked the aerator on the kitchen tap. Was that? The aerator was blocked on the kitchen tap, that's all it was. Good. Yeah. Same hot now, yeah? Oh. That was all blocked up inside. Took it out, cleaned it, all good. Well that extra tap away. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah, that's fine because it's going upstairs, isn't it? And because we've had everything else running. That's running now. 63 on there, 64. Climbing. Thirty eight, forty, forty one, forty two. It's hot enough to do washing up. Yeah, so I went to switch this off. Mm. So it looks like it's going to need a new tap or a new de aerator because with that one, the boiler still not recognize the demand. So we're going to leave that off for the time being so they can still use the kitchen tap to do the washing up and everything. Um, and then shrubs, if we're going to come back and replace the tap or change the de aerator, whatever needs to be done, because it's recognized the demand at all the other taps, it's just that one. So is it on heating at the moment? Hmm? Is it on heating? It's on heating at the moment. So as soon as you open that tap, there you go, tap symbol comes on here. So it's recognized it. But as soon as you put the deaerator on, demand goes. So that's what the problem is, just restricting the flow. So yeah, that's that one done. Right, we've got a valent which is giving some issues with heating and hot water. Uh, I've got to come back to do a power flush of this next Wednesday, but they're having problems with the hot water side as well. So let's turn the heating off first. Cool. Um, do you mind running a hot tap for me? Let's just see what it does. Let's see what the hot water temperature, yeah, that's fine, 63. Let's see what it's doing. That's, I also want to make sure. Is it going down the diverter?
Ooh. Wow, that's not sounding good at all. Bloody hell. That's gone straight. Okay, yeah, definitely got some overheating issues. 99 degrees, that's reached. Um, all right, if you turn that off. Right, let's get this case off and see what we can do. All right, drain down and water quality, I think, speaks for itself. That tells me, I'm not surprised to be fair, um, how that was banging and crashing away. So now it's drained up, I'm going to get this apart and then see what's going on inside there. So I've got the flow connection out, but it's not like the one I had last time where there was chunks inside there. Even inside here, there's not, I can't feel any debris really. Now that's clear in there. And the main heat exchangers had it to be fair because the way that was banging and clanging i think that's had it the pumps running sweet but i think the blockage is all up in there so i don't even know if a flush will clear it to be honest because you saw the water quality yeah i don't know i'll have to report back on this one and see what happens so just to rule things out, I'm just taking the pump head off. And I mean, you can see that's seen better days as well. And I just picked out, out the impeller. Where's that little stone? So let me put this, these little bits. It's gone in there, but yeah, it's like little stones. So yeah, I reckon if that's all getting, I picked that out of here. If that's all worked its way into there. I think a day that's solder maybe, no? No, it's not solder. Okay. It's not solder. Scale. Scale or magnetite, it's just built up inside. So I'd say probably just change the boiler because I, don't, I think it's going to be beyond economical repair. I don't think it's going to, it can be flushed out if it's that all choked up inside there. But yeah, we'll see what happens.